For over 20 years, his paintings have paid homage to the majestic beauty of nature. Capturing the wonders of the sea and the grandeur of the earth on his canvas, George Sumner has lovingly bridged his concerns for the environment with his talents as an impressionist. One of America's most well-known and respected artists, his breathtaking portrait of the Statue of Liberty is permanently installed on Liberty Island in New York Harbor. His mystical rendering of the Golden Gate Bridge officially commemorated the bridge's 50th anniversary. And he personally presented his historic peacemakers to Mikhail Gorbachev in the spirit of global harmony. But it is the concern for our environment that sparks this gifted artisan. Driven by a commitment to preserve the wonders of nature, George Sumner has dedicated his talent and his resources in an ongoing effort to educate and heighten the awareness of people everywhere to nature's delicate balancing act. At an early age, when I saw the giant redwoods being cut down right before our very eyes, I became an activist, environmental activist, and I've, I've tried to use my art as that forum to speak out against environmental rape. But I, I do it in a manner that I chose to, to show the beauty of nature, to try to preserve these areas and get out there right now and become active, not just let somebody else do it. Hawaii is a very, very special place to me. I, I think uh, while many Americans have visited Hawaii, I, I think many more have no idea how beautiful it can be. I happen to have a love affair with Kauai, and I have had for the last 25 years. So I've spent a great deal of time climbing its cliffs and, and being in its waterfalls and its seashores. And it's one of those magic places on the earth that I, I think show the real beauty on a tiny condensed place. What I've been trying to capture in my paintings for the last 30 years is movement, a rhythm, a soft harmony, and motion. And I, I think if you look at the paintings, you'll find that whether it's the fog along the coastlines or the whales with their slipstream bubbles and that. The, the idea is to show poetry in motion and simplicity, but water has a magic formula for all of us. I go to a place of beauty somewhere around the world, study it and listen to its moods and smell its senses and and just really surround myself with all that greatness out there, that grandeur that God created, and then purposely not try to interpret it for maybe several months later. Part of Sumner's inspiration for the grace and beauty of his paintings comes from the tranquil setting of his studio home, built on top of a mountain in Marin County, California, just north of San Francisco. He built it with the same regard for the environment that's reflected in his painting. Skylights and solar panels dot the roof. A wood-burning stove is his only backup heating system. And he even has a greenhouse. He built it entirely with recycled materials, including a comfortable to stand on pine wood floor that used to be the ceiling of a chapel. Sumner's unorthodoxy in painting includes the use of a full-length mirror, which he places behind him and which he uses to check the progress of a work and he paints from memory, like the ancient Buddhist monks. When my son was born, uh, started stealing his baby diapers, and I came upon a cloth baby diapers being the vehicle to apply paint to the canvas. The baby diaper is very, very absorbent and soft, and it can take a lot of friction. Once I start the painting, I work all the way through until I complete it, no matter how long it takes me. And I enjoy doing that. And I always try to keep my best work surrounding me at all times. Um, in the past, I wouldn't do that because I found that uh, when you're first starting out with your artwork, that when you do keep your best work around you, you become lazy because you're afraid you'll never be able to outdo that. Well, now, after 25 years or so of painting, I find that 
that's not a problem. I'm not going to be a lazy artist because um, I, I enjoy painting so much.